If I could give myself advice from a younger, I would say, literally do you. Don't, don't knock yourself till you've done it and try everything you can because I'm not very good at new situations. So I'll just say, go in every situation with an open mind. My name's Jasmine Lissode. I'm 23 and I'm a freelance graphic designer and a bartender. Um, I studied graphic design at university in Bristol uh, th for three years. Um, <clears throat> so after that, I just kind of fell into it. Life for me was, because obviously I'm from Cornwall and it's a different world. I can't even say it's like a different city. It's not, I'm from a small town. So life for me was very different compared to living the London life. I live on a beach, basically. I used to go to the beach. I didn't go to big shopping malls. I mean, we don't even have a Primark. Do you know what I mean? So it's very different. I feel like when I meet people from London, they can tell I'm not from London. I don't know what that means, but it was very different growing up, very secluded. I feel like the combination between coming from a small, small town and then exploring a big city, I kind of look at things from a different perspective. I didn't grow up with things that you, like someone from London is so, they had by the click of their fingers, I had to drive 40 minutes or whatever. So I feel like I look at things a lot differently coming from such a small place. So when I was younger, I've always been into drawing or doodling or whatever. And Going through school, I wasn't very good at like subjects. I was good at art, but nothing else. You can't do art as a subject. So when I left school, going to college, I did a art diploma. I just did art. And that was the best thing I could have done completely. And I knew I wanted to go to university to do art. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I picked graphic design because it's the most broad. I can go into anything from it, really. So <clears throat> I always knew that I was a bit arty. Yeah, even though the shoe was made in America, I feel like because of the story behind it, the, st the story's solid. So I feel it's very much a London summer story. So when we pulled up to the campus, it's got like huge two like Nike signs. Um, one of my favorite parts of the campus was the DNA building. You, like not many people have access to it, so it's really looking back at all the history of the shoes. There was like a Michael Jordan room, and it explained how where his shoes started. Um, <clears throat> that was really cool. They have like these bright orange bikes. Obviously, orange is my colour. Called Bike Town, which you can ride around the campus because it's huge. You can't walk around campus. But no, it was, it was really cool. I've never thought, but well, I never thought about going to the Nike headquarters before. So actually, being there was really cool. So on paper, um, obviously we did the workshops and stuff like that. So on paper, the shoe looks kind of different. So seeing it to life and how they've actually taken to what I've imagined and put that into an object, which I can now hold and touch and feel is, is, is amazing. And the process hasn't taken as long as I thought it would to get the actual sample, but yeah, it's a cool process. So the next steps of London On Air is um, I'm really excited about the marketing side, how we're going to release the shoe, like what, how I'm going to, like is it going to be an event or is it going to be, I, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it yet. So I'm super excited to sit down with the Nike team and work out how we're going to release the shoe. I think the next part of this process to go from here, I don't know, I. I want to start creating more of my own projects now. Maybe this might give me a platform or something where I can uh, show my work to more people and maybe get a few more jobs from it. So yeah, just continue doing me.